Hey everyone, this is Mohit from Tenika Creations. Welcome to another tutorial in Fusion 9. This is what we'll create today. If you end up liking this video, please do support the channel, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. So first of all, set the time range to 80 frames. Let's add a background node. Drag it to the viewer. Click on fit. Let's leave the color to black. Click inside the flow and then add a text plus node. Let's enter the text for the text plus node. Fusion is awesome. I'm going to merge this text on top of this background. Drag the merge node to the viewer. So I'm going to select this text plus node and I want this text to appear till frame 40. So go to frame 40 and set a key for this text by double clicking here. Then go to frame 41 and let's change the text over here to try it. So this is what we have now. At 40 for this one I'm going to set a key for the font as well and I'm going to change it to extra bold. And at 41 change it to light. You can see the difference now. So we just have one single text plus node and we have two completely different looking text items. Okay, let's further customize the text. Go to shading. I'm going to change the color of this one, like so. Let's go to frame 40 and set a key for the color because I want to change the color at 41. Let's also give this text a white outline and for that click on this button which says 2. Now this 2 will give us a red outline. So if I enable this, see we get a red outline. I'm going to change the color of this outline from red to white. And I'm going to increase the thickness like so. I think that's good enough. At 40 I'm also going to set a key for this enabled. Then at 41, I'm going to disable this. So I don't have an outline at 41. Okay. Go back to one and change the color of this text, something like that. So now this is the result that we have. All right. Let's also add some animation to it. So go to frame zero. And I want this text to be moving upwards from nothing. So add a rectangle mask for the text plus node. Click on this button. Then let's drag that rectangle mask down. As you can see the text is visible inside the mask and invisible outside. The text is right now outside the mask. So we'll want to invert the mask to make the text visible. Click on invert. Then select the text plus node and bring the text down like so. Go to layout tab and right click on the center. Go to modify with x5 path. Go to frame 30 and then I'm going to set the y value to 0 0.5. So here's what we have. But the animation is really, really boring. Let's make it interesting. So go to the spline editor, select Y, click fit, click inside the graph editor, control A to select the keyframes and press F to flat. Go to frame 15, fit, press K to add a keyframe. Now select the keyframe and let's adjust the handles like so. And this one over there. Go back to the flow and let's play this now. That's what we have. Let's make it ease into 30 a little bit smoothly. Go to the spline editor and move this key to the left using left arrow key. One, two, three. There. Now let's adjust the handles like so. And this one here. Let's also set a handle value for this. Press T on the keyboard lock in and out and set this value to 70. 
go back to the flow and play it like that okay all right we also need this transition between these two texts to have some kind of motion so select this text plus node hit shift space bar and search camera shake add camera shake okay i also want to animate the strength of the camera shake we don't need it throughout the animation so at 41 let's set a key for the overall strength of the camera shake to 1 then go to 35 and bring that value all the way down then maybe at 55 set the value to 0 this is what we have right now let's make it interesting um, let's play it okay go to the spline editor let's off the y and click fit click inside the graph editor Ctrl A to select the keyframes and press F to flat. Select this keyframe and set the handle value to 70. Set this value to 50. And here we'll set a high value as I want it to ease in nicely over here. Let's just set it to 100. So now if we just play it, that's what we have. But I think we should make it a little bit more random. Let's play with different values. Let's see over there. Increase this value like so. And the y deviation that is in the y direction to that. And the rotation. Let's increase it around there. Like that much. The randomness, let's set it around there. Okay, let's see. Play it now. That's what we have. Okay, it looks good. But it will look better once we add the motion blur. So select this merge node. Then click on this icon over here then click on motion blur let's put the playhead around there even though we have clicked on the motion blur we can't see it in the viewer to see the motion blur we'll have to off use opencl this is new in fusion 9 now we can see the motion blur and so let's increase the quality all the way up and Ah, let's play. Okay, looks good. Let's make it a little flowy. Increase the shutter angle value like that. Okay, let's play now. Yeah, that's looking good. Again, if you have any doubts about something that was shown in this video, drop in a comment and I'll get to it at the earliest. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and for more tutorials like these, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. In case you're already subscribed, hit that bell icon so that you get notified for every new upload on this channel at Tenika Creations. Share this video if you feel someone in your circles could benefit from this video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Mohit signing off and I'll see you in the next video. Have fun guys. Bye bye.